this K-pop? K-pop. I can already tell. Oh, is that K-pop? I mean, J-pop? Is it J-pop, maybe? Look at how beautiful, like, their music videos are. It's like Destiny's Child, but a different, like, minority. <laughs> It's like Daft Punk. The guy literally has colored pieces of plastic paper stuck to his face. What's in the briefcase? Is he a bad guy? What? Mini me. Oh, is he gonna do the robot? What? He's a polar bear! Yes! What world does that make sense? So Japanese. What's the apple thing? Oh, watch out, it's a bomb! Really? He's distracted by an apple? What? And it turned into a stuffed animal. Oh, he's so cute now. We're gonna keep him as a pet. All that for a little gold thing? We don't even know what they're after. It was just something gold. What just happened? <laughs> That was so awesome. More magic people? Yes, sparkles, okay. Where do they come up with like the creative backgrounds and colors? This reminds me of Kingdom Hearts. It's a lot of people. Are, are they all in the band? That's way too many people in one band. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of girls fangirling over them right now. Oh my god, and they're talented too. They can dance. Ooh, they're all good dancers. Okay, this is just a lot of arm flailing. Okay, who choreographed this? That guy needs to get fired. Whoa, they got the moves like Jagger. Ooh, kill him. I love really, really, really good guy dancers. Okay, <laughs> that was interesting. That was awesome. That was kind of amazing. One, two, three, four! Ooh, I like it. I want you. Whoa, this is so colorful! I love this so much. This is actually a fun music video. Their music videos are better than ours. This is like what every guy thinks like a girl sleepover is. For the record, this is not what sleepovers are like. They all look 12, which makes this very weird to watch. Is this supposed to like appeal to guys? This is so easy. I could do this shit. Okay, I, I didn't know there was a mirror there. This is like getting a little suggestive. Is that English? I want you. Now they're in the tub, why not? Calm down, everybody. Okay, that wasn't a mirror. That was not a mirror. I, I don't know. So are those girls in the band too? Or are they like background dancers? I don't know who the artist is. Everyone's singing. Unless they have like a band of 30 girls. I just want to be one of them now. I wish I spoke the language just so I can know what they're singing about. Also, we were peeping through the, the door. Uh, that's a little weird. That's kind of messed up a little bit. It was cute and then it got weird. That one's actually really cute. Girl power. Okay, so what we just showed you was three different bands that are actually part of J-pop. Oh, that was J-pop. I'm so sorry. I was incorrect. Have you ever heard Japanese music before? In anime? Yeah, because I took Japanese for three years. No, I've never listened to Japanese music. I have not. That was an experience for me. So before we go into specifics, how would you describe what you saw and heard overall? It's very different depending on like what artist you watch, I guess. They put a lot of effort into their music videos. Right, and bubbly. Lots of people. And there's really awesome cinematography and like pageantry. You don't really know what's coming up. You think you're going left and you go right. It's like trippy. It just seems like it's always so positive and happy that like it makes me happy. So the first group we showed you was Perfume. What did you think of their song and music video? I, I think I liked that one the most. That one was cool. I liked their music video. It was very random and it had a polar bear in it. They mugged a polar bear. 
That's horrible. I was trying to like see a deeper message, but I didn't really ever come to a conclusion. Next were the boys of Exile, who have sold more than 20 million records. Holy crap. That's all of them? There's like 20 of them. All the fangirls don't have to share now that much, because there's 19. What did you think of their video and song? The song was cool. Their dancing was cool. Like the pop and lock kind of stuff. Thought that was pretty cool. It was kind of Lord of the Ringsy. Loved it. They created a whole planet and they had a utopia on clouds. So the last group is arguably the most popular J-pop group of all time. Here is AKB48. There's so many of them too. Let's see how many pretty girls we can fit into a band. That's too many mood swings right there. And they currently have over 130 members. Why do you need that many? Oh my God, that's a lot of girls. Mayday! With the idea that they can all be performing or doing meet and greets at the same time in different locations. That's crazy. That's money. And they have their own theater where you can see them perform pretty much daily. Oh wow. From a marketing point of view, I guess that would be a good idea. It's borderline genius. If people are just there for the music, they're gonna get the music. Then you're like looking for the like the group and not so much like the individuals that are like in the group. It's like a whole new different way of putting on a show. I want to go. If we had that in America, that would be huge. That I think a lot of people would think that's really cool. Though we can't talk about all aspects of J-pop, one part is called idols, where performers are picked out of auditions and built into stars. And part of what audiences love is to watch regular people grow from inexperienced to professionals. What do you think about that idea? That's cool. It's actually really cool, like watching someone start out and then just kind of become this huge sensation. That's why X Factor is so popular and those talent shows. Kind of like YouTube, where, where you, you subscribe to a YouTuber and then like you can see them grow throughout the years and how they change. Then it's kind of hard for like independent like music artists to try to even like make a big name for themselves. Basically, it's a lot harder for just people who want to do their own music instead of following like a company. There's a lot of rules to be in an idol group to abide by or you can get fired or demoted. For example, in some of the groups you're not allowed to date. What? And one of the AKB48 members not that long ago ended up in a scandal where she was seen coming out of a guy's place from another group and she got demoted and ended up cutting off her hair and releasing an apology video for it where she was crying. What do you think hearing that? That's pretty harsh, I think. That's intense. Okay, that's too much. <laughs> that's way too much. Jeez. Extreme much. They should get like, I don't know, three strikes or something. Culture is completely different. To feel that much guilt over doing something that most teenagers do like on a weekly basis is kind of, it's, it's weird. It's probably good for like the younger people in Japan because like they could look up to them because they're so like pure and amazing and everything, but it has to be hard on the actual like band members. It makes sense that she did that. It's just, I feel sorry for the girl. It's understandable coming from Asian culture. If I do something bad, I have to like do something to show that I show remorse, but she, signed that contract herself, so she put herself in that position. Some idol groups have a graduation system where they're in a group for a certain amount of time, and when the time comes, they'll do things like pursue their own careers, or sometimes they'll just be let go, thanks to what they call graduating, and the rest of the group keeps going. What do you think about that? It's probably like the eternal like boy band. Imagine NSYNC going with like n like different pop stars right now. It makes it seem like it's not coming from the heart of the performer, it's coming from the producer. I feel like what you just said described teens React in a way. You guys get new members and it's still Teens React, even though the cast is different. So that's like the same thing. So it's not so weird and not so different. So last question, now that you have listened to some J-pop, are you gonna start listening to any of these groups? Yeah, no. No, I don't think so. It's just like not my like type of music. I'm actually interested in J-pop. Yes, I like it a lot. I like it so much. Not really. <laughs> not on my own free will. I don't really like pop music. No. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll stick with Drake. I will probably go home and look some of them up. You know what, yeah, when I'm sitting in the car with my friend and I'm playing some hip hop, I can change it up and play some J-pop. Thanks so much for watching another episode of Teens React. Let us know in the comments what video we should react to next. Are you subscribed? You better be. If not, just click the button, it's really easy. Also, be sure to subscribe to the React channel. There are new shows over there every single week. Goodbye.